All right, guys. Well, we're looking through the files for this in particular video, where it seems like one the first, I guess like a minute or so of it was corrupted. So basically, Cinemax find me basically like in a flipped down. Uh, Flipped over a dumpster. Here from one of the monsters. There's album five of a RPG while they distract him. And that's probably about it. The rest you'll be caught up with in a second. There we go. Oh, I'll take this. Finally. Oh yeah, I was checking audio. Hey, were you raised in a sewer? We're busy! No, we're not. Come on in. Hello! Get off oh, me. Oh, it's you. Welcome, kid. Did you fill out that form we gave you? It's right here, Sam. Here, Lumpy, hold this for me. We haven't been formally introduced, but I'm Sam, and this is my huggable partner, Max. Please don't hug me. We're the freelance police, selfless wranglers of scurvy gutter trash, supernatural botherers, and vermin of all stripes. I'm less a vermin and more of a lagamore. Crime never sleeps around here, so we need quality cadets like you with limited career options and leaders hey. of typo blood. It looks like you've already filled out an application hey, for Great. I'll just enter all your data into old Vicky here. In the meantime, Max will give you a basic aptitude test to make sure you can walk and chew gum at the same time. Rise and shine, Lumpy! You're about to take a one-way ticket to H.E. Double Hockey Sticks with yours truly as a tour guide. I'm gonna turn your flabby, useless body into a lean, mean, freelance policing machine. Do you understand me? Just show him the checklist, Sergeant Rockhead. Over there ah. is a checklist of basic tasks. If you complete them without accidentally bursting your appendix, I may allow you to continue your training. What the hell? He needs to, uh... What? You're not looking for hints, are you? Because that's not really part of the program. Neither are tips, clues, or implications. I'm not too big on fraternizing with the noobs. Especially you. Get working on that list. Can it? They keep telling me to get a computer or a scanner, but nothing beats the feel of a slowly rusting typewriter with a few missing letters. I know these initial tasks seem menial and degrading, but menial and degrading tasks are the cornerstone of a freelance police officer's day. The potential cadet places the empty mug in the coffee maker and lines up his shine. Run down this four by. I wasn't sure Mike was picking up, so. Ah. Don't forget, one shot of cream and two scoops of sugar. Here you go, boss. Ah, that's the stuff. Ah, uh, sorry I was a little rough on you earlier. I'm a complete animal until I get my morning joe. Oh, it's three of my favorite top eight sharp toys. We need to know if... Now do me! Now do me! Throw me like that anymore, Sam. Ham and HR said I had to cut it out. Oh, it's nothing sacred anymore. Nope.
I know these initial tasks seem menial and degrading, but menial and degrading tasks are the cornerstone of a freelance police officer's day. They're right up there with horrifying and soul-crushing. While you're poking around the lacy unmentionables in our closet, would you mind taking out some of those cockroaches with my six-gun? Bam! Mucily! Come here, I think they're indestructible, Mac. Good job. Do cockroaches even have blood sick? No! Shooting at Max will only antagonize him, kid. List is over there, Lumpy. Get cracking. Release the Kraken. <laughs> hey, good for you. You found my breakfast corn dogs. Just so you know, I like my corn dogs like I like my, uh. Are you sure we want Lumpy using the microwave? Its warranty ran out three popes ago. It'll be fine, Max. Stray bursts of radiation build character. And tubers? That's going on. Mmm, the sweet oily... That's Mr. Jingle, our stress reliever. All right, kid. I guess Mr. Jingle's a fair enough for one day. Chewy, just a hint of pig lips. Not bad, Lumpy. But I still don't like you. Hey, Sam, Lumpy's all done with the aptitude tests. How'd the kid do? Somewhere between brain dead and unformed pile of clay. Just how we like him. I got some more typing to do here, but that can wait. Anytime you're ready to head on over to our training grounds, just give me a holler. You ready to start your training? All righty then. It's time to gird your wits and steal your loins for the challenges of the freelance police training grounds. Here's helping you like pain. I love it. <laughs> Here we are at the Freelance Police Academy of Remedial Crime Busting and Planetary Protection. Sorry about the bumpy drive, but there's two pounds of lead embedded in my right foot. As you can see, the Academy has been built on the remains of Cap Aqua Bear's Funtime Park, a colorful seaside amusement park that closed down in 2005 under mysterious circumstances. By mysterious, he means it went broke. And by colorful, he means psychologically scarring and full of asbestos. Once you pass the first three, we'll let you try the next three, and so All on. Right. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. We'll be tracking your progress with these special bracelets we confiscated from one of the many mad scientists we jailed over the years. Just stick out either hand and Max will slap it on. Okay, kid, you're good to go. Whenever you're ready, just saunter over to the challenge of your choice and we'll tell you what to do and where to shoot. Holy hopscotch and Hayek, Max! The brains of three of our nation's greatest entrepreneurs have been replaced by fiendishly clever time bombs. I hate when that happens. We'll help you defuse them with some online manuals we've dug up on the dark web. Your examination begins now. The first thing you need to do is open up the head of Thomas Edison here like a ripe mango. The manual says there should be a screw, bolt, or wire somewhere on the side of the head. Move it around to find the right one. Then open her up. Gently. Greetings, aspiring capitalists. My name is Thomas Alva Edison. I see a future of concrete houses and wooden dishwashers. Looks like wires. Grab the wire cutters. Good! Now listen to the order of the colors. Don't mess up! Yellow. Green. Black. The heads have tells to choose the correct action, but the rest are lies that'll make it go kaboomskis. But which one is the right one? Well, according to the manual... When his eyes go to the right, he's telling the truth. When he says poke me, poke him in the eyes! <laughs> when he says boop me, tap him on the nose.
What? Smack me! Oh, he's facing me. Boop me! Smack me! Boop me! Smack me! That looks like a flathead. Pick up the flathead screwdriver to take it off and open it up. Red! When his eyes are blue, he's being true. Poke me. Smack me. Poke me. Boop me. Poke me. Poke me. Smack me. Poke me. Boop me. Poke me. Twist me! Poke me! That looks like a Phillips head. Get the Phillips screwdriver to take it off and open the head. White! Green! Yellow! Red! Tesla? Never heard of him. When his eyes are yellow, he's an honest fellow. Squeeze me! Twist me! Squeeze me! Twist me! Smack me! Poke me! Twist me! Looks like wires. Grab the wire cutters. Red! Black! White! Nothing emboldens the spirit of innovation more than a robust system of capitalism. Red eyes are the sign of the tree. Funny, with me they're a sign of bloodlust. Squeeze me. Plunge me. Twist me. Smack me. Poke me. Boop me. Poke me. Twist me. Impressive time, kid. Yeah, but can you do it while hanging upside down in a piranha tank? Eh? Nicely done, cadet. You've officially passed the Bombs Away Challenge. Good deal. You can train a chimp to disarm a bomb, 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 bomb. Hey, Sam, we should train a chimp to disarm a bomb. Okay, before you begin... Huh? Are you ready for deep muscular torment? Jeez, Max, dial it down a notch. As I was saying, each station on this course is designed to test your glutes, abs, pecs, traps, and zeds. We'll tell you what you need to do as you go. Ready? Sure. Set, go, run! First up, simply step on this track and avoid these pummeling round things. Ow. It's so easy, even a banana slug. Once, when I was a little bunny, I climbed a large wall just like this. Oh, am pulling that one. Now throw these balls at the targets, lucky! A freelance police officer needs to have a keen sense of throwing accuracy. Because, uh, you know, that comes up from time to time. Ugh. In hindsight, I'm not sure this is a fair test of skill. Oh, I can see in hindsight. It's my cute little butt. Please throw better. Just a little outside. Nice arm, Mini Rivera. You sure you don't need some therapeutic eyewear? Maybe a bowl of soup? Leave the ball. I'm not bumping. Ready for that was probably too easy. Fly. Fly like the wind. Grab it. <laughs> 
Don't let go. Happy. Then let go. Or you die. Can I have your stuff? You're an insensitive brute, Max. No, I didn't even let go. Now pop some balloons. And your preconceptions about law enforcement. If you're getting dizzy, try putting your head between your legs. That's pop music to my ear. Ugh. Those balloons look a little funky. Yeah, it's possible that some of them are unused package platters. You're not skittish around sharp objects, are you? Because that's kind of a deal breaker. Stop pooping around. That's my job. Not looking good there, lumpy. Don't be afraid to pop the balloons. We're 90% positive they don't feel any pain when you rupture their skin sacs. Wow, that was bad. If we sterilize these starts, it'd be really bad if the kid caught a carny disease. I personally soaked them in a tub of my toxic body humor. Oh, that wheel is making me, making me hurt me. Try staring at a fixed object, like the sun. This would be so much cooler with ninja throwing stuff. Right? Am I right? I'm right? You say that about everything. Ow. Yeah, yeah, big deal. It's the oh. funny hook of Captain C. Grab it. Disposal is a dangerous, but hilarious part of the job. We seem to get one in the mail almost every week. Nice free throw, Shaq. The thing I like best about basketball is wearing those baggy shorts. I like the headbands and fragile ankles. Who's your favorite basketball player? I like the guy who throws buckets of glitter on the crowd. You could build a charming Brooklyn townhouse with all those bricks. play basketball, my feet hurt for a week. Maybe you should wear shoes. Okay, that's enough hooping it up for now. Good run, kid. Wait for us outside while I wipe down the equipment with Max's fur. Ow. Well, pull my ears and call me Missy. You passed. Missy is easily impressed. Oh. One more, then I'm good. <laughs> Feeling you were being watched. I see your eye has wandered over to our circle of carnage. Along with the rest of your misshapen body. Hey, you really should exercise more. Ignore him. Now, the life of a freelance police officer isn't just about shooting things. But it's not not about shooting things if you catch our drift. The sad but exceptionally fun truth is that you will occasionally be called upon to responsibly discharge your firearm while protecting the innocent and or saving the world. Responsibly discharge your firearm? <laughs> Are we shooting bad guys or getting ready for a spring cotillion, Sam? When you're ready for some target practice, just step into the circle and we'll set you up. I'll do that next time, guys. Till then, bye.